friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys a super exciting tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. And if you can't tell already, I love it. I love it. I kind of woke up today and didn't know what I was going to film. Like I knew I had to film and I knew I wanted to film. But I didn't know what I was going to film. And so I just started going through my makeup and seeing, you know, what I hadn't used in a while. And I came to the conclusion I haven't played with glitter in a minute so that's what I decided to do today I actually incorporated the glitter in my liner and I love absolutely love the way that this turned out and I hope you guys like it as well so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look please just keep on watching okay so we are going right into the eye since that is kind of the center of attention for the look I'm going into the semi sweet chocolate bar palette by Too Faced and probably taking my favorite eyeshadow that has ever been created by any person on this planet and that is the color peanut butter because you know I love me some warm transition shades. So I'm taking this with a Morphe brush from the Angel Merino collection and it's just basically a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush really will do just fine and I'm just working this in our crease as our transition shade. My eyes were already primed before I turned on the camera, my brows were done and my foundation was done just so you guys know so now i'm going into the color mousse which is kind of like a gray tone kind of transition color but i'm just going to take this with a flat brush and place it all over the lid i kind of really wanted to mix cooler tones and warmer tones because i mean i'm pretty much always all about that warm tone life so i felt like it'd be cool to switch it up and just throw a cooler tone brown on the lid you know what I'm saying? So just with any foundation, foundation brush, skirt, with any flat brush, just place that all over your lid. And then I'm going into the original chocolate bar palette and I'm taking the color Cherry Cordial, which is just kind of like a burgundy type shade. And I'm taking this with a more dense fluffy brush. And I believe this one is just the Coastal Sense one that I use all of the time. And I'm just gonna work this in my outer V and a little bit into the crease. And literally that's gonna be it for eyeshadow. We don't want anything too crazy. I did wanna keep it pretty neutral and just kind of wash, washes of color, cause it's three colors. So washes of colors. And so yeah, just blend that out once you've got that in your crease. Just with a little bit more of that peanut butter shade. Like just literally a little bit, like just put your brush, like beep, just like that and just blend that out a little bit because we really want this to be kind of more blown out we don't want it to be like too concentrated or too dark it's really just washes of color just to complement the gold eyeliner which is obviously the star of the show here so i'm using this nyx gold liner i believe this is a crystal liner i'll leave everything in the description box but i believe it's called like the nyx crystal liner and it's just the gold shade and I'm just gonna take it and basically do a wing liner with it now I was kind of winging this a little bit huh, winging it huh yeah no pun intended anyways I was kind of winging this a little bit I didn't know how I was gonna get the gold that I wanted so I started out with this but you can tell it's really not so in your face so what I did was before this even dried I mean this was super tacky I went into this gold glitter by Mac this is the 3d gold glitter and I took it with a Mac 209 brush and I just patted it right on top I didn't put any glitter glue or anything but because we had that glitter still kind of tacky and wet it just stuck to it so nicely and this is basically what really makes the gold liner just basically pop so here I'm just doing the other eye of course we want to do both eyes girl we do so again just it's really kind of essential that you make sure that you don't wait until it dries like you want it to be wet when you apply that gold glitter so it really adheres and there's not really much fallout so here you can see the difference between the 3d gold side and then just the regular gold side like that other gold side is not that cute so again just doing the same on the other eye I'm kind of a little crazy and went off camera <laughs> my bad but you know you saw what I did with the other eyes same thing just patting it right on top then I'm gonna go into my NYC liquid liner and this is kind of the more tricky part you want to outline your gold liner so what I'm doing is I kind of made the brush kind of not have a lot of product on it and it's a little bit skinnier you know what I'm saying like it's a little bit thinner because there's not a lot of product on it and I'm basically just outlining it it kind of takes a lot of patience like a lot of patients which I don't have so this was very difficult for me <laughs> but you know I mean as long as you're careful it, it looks harder than it really is it just like I said takes a whole bunch of patience so just outline it and then when you get kind of on the inner corner what I did was I made it just a little bit thicker 
in the inner corner which is weird usually you wouldn't think that but just I feel like it kind of balanced out a little bit better and then of course you want it to dry because I feel like since this is kind of more on the thick side if you don't let it dry it's just gonna transfer all over the place so make sure you let the liner dry before you just start opening your eyes and doing all these crazy things okay And if you guys think this is going to be too hard for you, just look at that birthmark that I have and think about how hard it was for me to not touch that birthmark. It was hard. So I don't want to hear your complaints. I know you guys can do this. Honestly, like I said, this is my first time doing this look and it turned out pretty much exactly how I pictured it in my head. So like I'm saying, it's not... It's not as hard as it may look. I feel like there's a lot of makeup looks that look super difficult, but then when you sit down and you really try it, then you realize you've got it down like that. So now I'm going into Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. As per usual, I'm just coating my lashes with some mascara because, because that's what we do. I'm going to prep them for some falsies. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers in Chantilly and Custard. Yes, Chantilly is the lightest color, but I put like the smallest amount just to brighten things up even further than custard does I mean I really it's kind of extra like I don't have to but I just like to do it I, just let me do me girl so I'm just putting it everywhere that I would highlight and conceal of course so this is custard and then here I'm putting a little bit of chantilly right on top you can see I barely put any of it just for that extra oomph if you know what I'm saying then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender that is damp and I'm just gonna blend that out underneath my eyes I actually forgot what good coverage this concealer has it actually has really good coverage I actually really like it and it doesn't crease I mean of course it creases but it doesn't crease as fast as other you know what I'm saying Once I've got all that concealer blended out, I'm going to go into my Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I have fallen in love with again. I just, I love it. This and the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, like you can just do no wrong. So I'm basically just putting a whole lot of powder on and then taking the other side of the Real Techniques Blending Sponge, which is what I use for the powder by the way, and just kind of blending it away. I feel like this just gives such a good finish to the skin. I love it. So moving on to the eyes, we're going back to the lower lash line. I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Highlighter and Blacker. Surprise, surprise. My obsession will probably never end with this eyeliner. Sorry guys, but I'm actually not because I love it. <laughs> so I'm just going to heavily line my waterline with this. And then I'm going to go into the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette again. And I'm grabbing Licorice, which is a ridiculously pigmented black shadow. Like, it, it surprised me how pigmented this is. I actually got it all over my makeup chair and like messed up everything but it's okay don't worry about it and I'm taking it on a flat definer brush by the way I think this one is also by Morphe then I'm gonna go on to my lashes I'm taking these dose of colors double dose lashes sorry I didn't show you the lashes I had already taken them out so it was like <laughs> I'll just show you the box right was that, was that okay so I'm just applying these lashes and I actually you're gonna see I pulled a piece of hair out of one of the lashes and it kind of really upset me but I don't feel like you could see it look <laughs> look at it I don't feel like you could see it that much I mean the focus was on the liner so I figured it wasn't that big of a deal <laughs> but yeah then I'm gonna go into peanut butter again and I'm gonna take it with kind of more of like a pencil brush and I'm just gonna smudge out that black shade this pencil brush is also by Morphe from the Angel Marino collection I actually really like that collection and I don't feel like it's super expensive I mean Morphe is not really expensive to begin with but I really like the collection and you know I love the gold handles on those brushes I really recommend it I feel like it has a lot of good like essential brushes in it for such a good price I think it comes with like 16 brushes I'm not like an affiliate or anything with Morphe I just I just like this collection a lot <laughs> so yeah once you do that then I'm gonna move on to mascara to my bottom lashes and again Too Faced Better Than Sex will always be I could probably stop including these clips of the mascara because you guys already know what mascara I use all day or day but yeah then once you got your mascara on then these are the finished eyes obsessed is literally an understatement for how I feel about it I'm so happy with this look probably my favorite look I've ever done 
So now moving back onto the face, we're going to finish up with contouring. Well, we're going to start with, con we're going to contour. And I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. And the color I'm using first is Medium Cocoa. And it's more of like a gray tone shade. And I really like it for contouring. I feel like this will flatter so many people. And it just gives such a natural shadow to your cheekbones. I just, I love it. So I'm using it with the NARS Eater Brush, which is... Forever my favorite and least favorite brush for contouring. If you guys have been following me, you know I love this brush, but it sheds like a mofo. So just beware if you pay $55 or something like that for this brush, it sheds for days. So I'm also using a BH Cosmetics, kind of like a large angled brush, just to contour my nose and just slim it out a little bit because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's starting to look fat to me. <laughs> my nose looks a little fat, no? Okay. I'm just slimming it out a little bit just because I like that look that's it that's all then I'm going into dark cocoa which is much more warm toned and I'm gonna take it with kind of like a large angled brush and I'm just gonna kind of warm up the sides of my forehead just to make me look like I actually get Sun because I don't I like hide under a rock all day but this makes me look like I you know get a little some some yeah do I look like I went on vacation because I'm not anytime soon nope Then for blush, I'm using Spring Sheen by MAC. I just thought this would look so good with this look, and it actually did. So I'm using my MAC 168 brush. My favorite blush brush of all time. I would recommend this for days. This is probably the only brush from MAC that I feel is necessary that you can't really find a dupe for. Because I feel like all the other kind of blush brushes like this are much more flimsy and have longer hairs, and this one is just perfect. I'm also going to deepen up my contour using the MAC Pro Sculpting Powder in Definitive, which is my favorite to deepen up my contour with. It's darker, but it's more ash toned, so it's not going to be super warm like most dark contour colors are. Then I'm going to highlight with just my new love, literally my new love. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator, such a long name. And it's in the color Gilded Honey. I'm sure you guys all know all about this. I bought this when it first came out and I just never used it even though everybody was hyping it up. And like now I see why everyone was hyping it up. It's so stunning. It's amazing. Then for lips, I'm using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Sepia. And I find that this is such a good formula. I feel like they changed it. And it's definitely not drying. It never was drying, but it's just so comfortable to wear and it's definitely longer lasting. So once your lipstick is on, which by the way, you don't have to use the same lipstick. You can use whatever color you want. Then this look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to look in the description box for links to all my social media and I'll see you in my next video.